I just took a mean ass shit in Chipotle. And um, I've been holding this shit for almost what? 15, 16 hours. I guess who's come back, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Listen, man. I'm cool on that bullshit. I'm flying solo, nigga, from now on, man. I've been making videos for coming up on 11 years now, my nigga, you feel me? I've been in the game for a cool ass minute. I've seen punk ass, bitch made, whole ass motherfuckers like yourself come and fucking go. You know what I mean? I've seen, you know, piece of shit, dipshit, punk ass, motherfucking trash goddamn content creators like yourself. You know what I mean? Go from 10,000 subscribers and then automatically jump up to 108K because they're over here, you know, piggybacking, you know, off of the success of other fucking YouTubers, my nigga, you feel me? You know, it, you know, it's a goddamn shame. It's a crying fucking shame, my nigga, at the fact that these motherfuckers aren't entertaining enough to sit back and provide the people with content, you feel me, and have six, and have subscribers subscribe and actually be entertained by their fucking content. Again, so what brings you out here today? Um, well, I was uh, coming out here to- Flash is off. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine building a career on the internet, essentially being a hyperbolic version of yourself. Always being at 100% with no signs of genuineness and being a bit too vocal about things. Primarily sex and shit. Yes, literal fecal matter. Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? We all know who EDP is and the reason why people hate him today. But in case you're still living under a rock somewhere, allow me to give you a quick rundown. Brian Turhan Emerson Moreland, I fucking hope I said that name right, better yet known as EDB445 or by his new name as Dayon Scott Wilson Eason, god damn it, pick a fucking easier name, was a popular figure on the internet for this very extreme personality that he had. He would say shit like it is, and if people didn't like it, he didn't give a shit. What the fuck's going on, everybody? It's your boy, eat that pussy, 445, nigga. Um, we're fucking leaving Chipotle right now. Um, I'm heading down a big-ass hill right now. And, uh, my, my bad, y'all. I'm busting out a YouTube video, dog. And, uh, we better get the fuck out of here, dude. I just over-flooded the toilet. His video structures were very generic, and people generally liked him for him being himself. Even to the point where some creators defended him back in the day when YouTube decided that they didn't want to give him his play button. Someone at YouTube must have clairvoyance because <laughs> they really dodged a bullet there. People didn't care if he was filming on a potato camera or if he was filming on a 4K James Cameron's wet dream camera. All they cared about was him. He gained the people's trust, but unfortunately he used it and threw it all away when it was found out that he was sexting a minor, not just one, but multiple minors, and even went as far as to trying to meet one of them. And thankfully he was caught live in 4K being down bad horrendously, but he was caught by dipshits who also have bad history with them, so... <sighs> The universe just threw me a monkey paw right there. Honestly, I could make a video about these fucking wastes of space, and I will, don't fucking worry. But for now, let's just call them assholes and focus on the bigger piece of meat. Get it? Because bigger piece of meat? Because EDP's fat? EDP's content of old used to be him making fun of either himself or just acting a fool on camera. And when I mean acting a fool, I generally mean it. There are a handful of videos of him essentially downsizing himself in a comedic fashion. Also, he likes to joke about himself being fat, so I can make the fat jokes about him because he did it first. Suck my dick. I get the appeal. But there is only so much you can do with those jokes. The true appeal of his videos and the reason why he had such a huge fan base was due to the fact that he felt very real to a lot of people. He felt relatable, but also extreme. Watching his videos felt like you were FaceTiming that one really crazy friend who was very annoying, but you loved them, but you also hated them. The novelty of his reliability was also strengthened by the fact that his video quality is shit. Get it? Because 
We're gonna talk about him sending shit pics soon. Oh god, I can't wait for that. EDP would upload videos consistent of rants, vlogs, cooking, reviews, gaming, what have you. And honestly, these videos, like, I don't want to toot my own horn. How did he ever get so popular? Like, I get it. I just ranted about the reason being his relatability, but how in the fuck did this crusty ass oversized Reese's Pieces ever get so fucking popular? Like, rewatching his old popular videos make me even more confused. Videos like I flooded the toilet in Chipotle and nearly shitted myself at school. Like, this shit is just pure middle schooler content. Speaking of that topic, that could also be the reason why people haven't been watching his content much anymore. His main audience has grown up and has ever since the incident left him to turn to dust. His content hasn't evolved and his videos require no skill to either edit or come up with. But there's just something so poetic about seeing a grown ass man complaining about chicken wings while being half naked. I, I, I just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the, the stench of mediocrity, but it, 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 maybe that might be it. Maybe that might be what's getting me going, you know? Hey everyone, uh, Noble here. Um, on the topic of wings, apparently he made a video on wings of redemption and calling him a little bitch. And I just think that's so funny and poetic to me that all of these fucking lol cows that I've talked about, most of them, a lot of them actually, have talked about Wings of Redemption in some way. I think it's just the universe telling me to make another Wings of Redemption video, but I just find it so fucking funny. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go back to the video, I guess. Like I've stated before, his videos are shot on a home camera. And like most lol cows I've covered in the past, they have no regard for professionalism in the slightest. You're not gonna get any high-grade editing from a man who looks like he's one stage away from deep-throating a tub of lard. And you're also not gonna get high-grade lighting or any regard for it from this man. It's insane to me. And listen, I understand that there is a lot that goes into being a YouTuber, but the most important things you need are a good camera, good audio, and great lighting. That was a burp that I did not intend. It. I can kind of disregard editing because not everyone can get it as quickly. Editing is a hard thing for me when I first started YouTube, and it took me about two years to fully learn the ins and outs of any editing program. But EDP and others like him do not care about hard work and would much rather get popular by doing jack shit. And it's like this for pretty much all of his other channels. You won't find a speck of quality from this man other than just some good jokes sometimes. Speaking of quality and professionalism, did you know that he had a backup channel called and I fucking quote, taste this two inch dick 445. How ironic, seeing as though later we'll talk about him sending nudes to a minor and his dick being, in fact, two witches. I don't get why guys flex small wieners like it's the Golden Globes. If I had a small dick, I'd keep that a secret to my fucking grave. But hey, man. Seems like different folks are more vocal about their micro pee, pee Anyways, we went over his content and what it entails. You're not missing a whole lot if you haven't caught up with the EDP lore. Don't worry. You don't have to watch his channel. You don't have to watch any re-uploaded videos of him. You're wasting your time if you do. But for now, let's get to the real juicy part of the video. On my shoulder. I fucking... What the fuck you doing here, nigga? Identify yourself. Who the fuck are you? Slowest fucking draw ever. Now it's time to air out EDP's dirty laundry. I know in the past, people have talked about Brian and his dirty deeds that were done dirt cheap. But recently, some new things have come up that I wish to discuss even further. But before that, before the modern day situation, let's take a look back as to why people hated him in the first place. EDP was a figure that never really communicated his sex life properly. He would always use a hyperbolic sentence like, Man, I fuck hella bitches every single day. I fuck so many bitches that my dick stank. I got stank dick. When in fact, he has fucked no bitches at all. That's, that's, your, that's your yearly interview reference there. <laughs> but this goes into the main heart of the problem. No one really knew what was going on in the background until the pedo hunters finally caught him walking outside trying to secure a cupcake like he was saying. 
As it turns out, he was sexting a minor for a very long time. Sending her dick pics, pictures of himself, and even <sighs> a picture of his feces. To this day, I just, I have never understood why he did that. I, I just, I, the human mind of EDP is such an enigma to me that I sort of believe that I should feel sorry for him. But I won't because I'm a better person. Anyways, people found out that he was a pedo and, and Brian's career went down the shitter. Quite literally. Get it? Because <laughs> poo poo. As a result, he lost his channel and his backup channels. Brian would then go to Vimeo for a bit and then get banned and then went to Facebook. But that shut down faster than an Alabama diabetic with heart palpitation. On July 9th, 2020, EDP released a video trying to clear up rumors that he had been voice chatting with underage minors. Plural on minors, by the way. His fan base, being the children that they are, thought nothing of it with some claiming that it was just a Karen group trying to take down his channel. We would later learn that he was, in fact, voice chatting with minors. How ironic. On October 14th, 2020, literally two days before my fucking birthday, YouTuber Cold Raven released episode 8 of his series Slaughterhouse. In the video, Cold Raven showed proof that Brian had indeed been messaging minors and showed multiple conversations of him trying to hook up with underage girls. Even after that video, Cold Raven continued to release new evidence and eventually set an account of his own acting as an underage decoy, which Brian felt for like a fucking idiot. On November 14th, 2020, EDP released a now deleted video titled My Response to Cold Raven. In the middle of the video, he pulls out and cocks his 1911 mil spec .45 stainless steel handgun and continues to eat the food afterwards. Listen, I'm trying my hardest, my absolute hardest to not make any fat jokes but he just gives me the opportunities for free. On November 17th, EDP read out the donation on his live stream, which was also deleted. What a fucking surprise, I know. Asking about the allegations, which he responded with a group of no life as no pussy getting motherfuckers deciding to make a fuckload of fake accounts pretending to be fucking girls. And like a dumbass, I fell for it. And now everybody's on this fucking pedo shit. God. EDP has such a way with words. On December 11th, 2020, EDP posted a picture of himself posing with a female fan claiming that they were dating. This was clearly fucking fake. I mean, come on, look at the guy, look at the girl. Do you really think he's pulling that shit? Nah, I don't believe that for a fucking second. But this was clearly fake due to the fact that the NFL had not yet allowed any in-person attendance since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic god i wish we could just go back to go back to that time man like unironically staying inside and not having to deal with someone was so fucking cool i fucking love that era unfortunately that's not a thing anymore and now i have to go outside and be social fun afterwards he was yet again texting another minor and released another response to cold raven stating that he had already had a girlfriend named jessica and that he did not plan on revealing her to his fans. By the end of December 2020, he had been caught texting a total of eight minors. Wow, that must be a new record. There you go, now you can see my ear more properly once I tuck my afro in here. After December, the countdown to his downfall would start to tick. And this would bring us to the day of reckoning where EDP was caught by Chet Goldstein, who is also a massive asshole and a massive racist, and a few others trying to get a cupcake. I.e. He was trying to meet up with underage chicks. They confronted EDP about the messages that were exchanged by somebody who posed as a 13-year-old girl. These messages contained se sexual content, including pictures of his penis and content involving either his fecal matter or ejaculation and masturbation videos sent by him. Listen, you could not pay me any amount of money to watch a video of EDP coming. That sounds both disgusting and one of the most uninteresting shit that I've ever heard. He probably come fucking barbecue sauce from wing stops for fuck's sakes. The full video of him being confronted was released on April 20th. The video includes footage of Alex contacting the local authorities on EDP, but unfortunately, they contacted the police after catching him. 
They should have called the popo beforehand, but guess what? These two fucking brain cells that are fucking rubbing up against each other didn't work hard enough that day. Before the video of him was released, EDP had made a video on his backup channel announcing that he would delete all of his videos on his main channel. Many who have mistaken this for being after this altercation. On April 23rd and 24th, Dayon privatized all of his videos, including most of his videos on the EDP 445 2.0 account, which was another backup account. He has so many backup accounts, by the way. You have to keep up with this fucking shit. All of his channels have been since removed from YouTube, except for his cooking channel and his gaming channel, and also his wrestling review channels. Now, to be fair, he hasn't used these channels in over a decade, so YouTube technically has no reason to delete them, unless he starts uploading on them again. On May 2nd, EDP uploaded a video to his Facebook page, which has also since been deleted. Wow, what a fucking surprise. Announcing that he would be moving all of his new videos to his soon-to-be website. Ultimately, this website never launched, and the domain expired. I tried looking it up, it's fucking gone. EDP has also possibly changed his name while he was in the US state of Nevada. This can be supported by that as you can no longer search for his legal name change, Brian Moreland technically no longer exists and now goes by the name of Dayon. Dayon, Dayon, I don't know, it's fucking weird spelling, man. The aftermath for this drama was massive, and I mean huge. Every channel was making a video about him, whether big or small. The drama and the news was inescapable. Speaking of escape, Dion had the brilliant idea of moving out of Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada, thinking he could start a new life when in reality, this made things way worse for him because now people hunted him down. An example of such, on October 6, a TikTok user named Lennon Jimenez had posted a video of Dion taking a job for Lyft, which was quickly turned down. On November 22nd, Dion applied for a job at fucking Chuck E. Cheese, but was also quickly turned down. Could you imagine getting turned down for a job at Chuck E. Cheese? I would just end my life at that point. At the end of 2021, he gained a resurgence after the above information became more known to the public, getting well-known commentary YouTubers such as Z 0 aka Charlie, aka Moist, aka God himself, and Sunny V2, who have both made follow-up videos on Dayon. On December 2nd, 2021, Philip, a former friend of Dayon, had since said that Dayon was imprisoned at Hendersfield Detention Center in Nevada under his new name and even provided screenshots of the supposed call times from the prison facility. However, some people were skeptical of Philip since he only uploads to talk about his former friend and people couldn't find Dayon in the inmate database in either his birth name or current name. Thus, people assumed that Philip was lying for attention. Since anyone can also hide their phone numbers, this sparked speculation on whether Philip faked the screenshots. On February 16th, 2022, some ordinary gamer published a video detailing that Dayon was never imprisoned in the first place and that he has a TikTok profile called EDP445 DOG, which shows activity from around this time he was supposed to be imprisoned. This brings me into our next topic. EDP is like a cockroach. He shows up everywhere. And you can't believe the look on my fucking face when I saw his face on TikTok of all places during a live stream. I even fucking tweeted it out. But TikTok being, well, TikTok started a free EDP movement. Dear fucking Christ, where are we going as a human species? On April of 2021, the free EDP movement started to come quickly after his controversies with minors. The movement started mostly on TikTok comment sections saying free EDP, while the EDP profile picture in the controversial text of him smiling while half naked. More YouTubers started to notice it, but had very little choice to talk about it. The free EDP subject was mainly at the end of YouTube documentaries about Dayon, but some like George Floyd Gaming tried to support his movement. The meme would later die up. I cannot believe that I mentioned George Floyd and EDP in the same 
video. But where is EDP now? You may be asking yourself while you're drenched in hot tackies and Mountain Dew. Well, as of December 2022, Dayon started using a streaming app called Big O Live and has an Instagram profile called the OG EDP 445, where he posts about food and calls out people as trolls and no pussy getting fags in response to his allegations, which he denies and calls them lies. Listen, man, as soon as you use the word fags as a counter argument, you've already lost because gay people can deflect that shit like Genji deflecting a fucking diva ball. We've heard that word so many fucking times. It's it's meaningless to us it still hurts but uh, i mean it not as much a few highlights of dayon's big old live stream consisted of one of him talking to a little boy and another of a troll pretending to be a fan before they start to slowly refer to the events that ended dayon's career and confronted him about it dayon would then remove him from the live stream after struggling to remove him allowing the troll to curse him out honestly watching this clip was so fucking fun because you could see that this man is not tech savvy at all dayon also called out his former friend philip for spreading fake news of him getting arrested and not paying a thousand dollars during february of 2022 dayon had legally changed his name from brian turan emerson moreland to dayon scott wilson easton again why the fuck would you pick such a difficult name, man? Just just pick just pick like, I don't know, fucking Jack Dude, I guess. <laughs> Jack George. That sounds like a fucking that sounds like a super normal name. Hello there, my name is Jack George. During the late summer slash early fall of 2022, Dayon has been going live as EDP445 all access on YouTube. And he also has his TikTok account at the OG EDP and EDP445 on Instagram. He has also turned off comments on his TikTok account, which has over 332,000 followers. I cannot believe that people would follow this fucking stupid loser pedophile. I just, I, I give up. I just, how does he have so many fans? How? Maybe it's just pure curiosity. Maybe people are just curious what's going to happen to him next. On October 24th, Dayon was interviewed by a YouTuber on a video call. And on December 6th, Dayon would resurface after it was confirmed that he groomed another underage girl who was in high school. What the fuck? But this isn't where the bad news ended. A day after, Dayon would announce on Instagram livestream that he had stage 5 kidney failure caused by unknown circumstances and worries that he may be slowly dying. Listen man, I, looking at this dude, I can tell you for a fact that he is not drinking enough water. So the unknown circumstances my fucking ass, this dude's fucking chugging, chugging fucking bottles of coke. I don't know if the stage 5 kidney failure is real because he doesn't seem like he has a dialysis port anywhere on his fucking body or anywhere visible so take this take this information with a grain of salt listen i know i'm supposed to dog on this man considering the circumstances but cancer is some pretty heavy shit on one hand i feel so sorry for him having cancer but on the other hand i wish nothing but the worst for this man considering his fucking past and this brings us to the end of the video closing statements i fucking hate children but like it or not they are the future but kids need to be protected from people like edp and people like edp should not and must not be getting this much attention on social media whatsoever i cannot believe he is still a thing in 2022 but one good thing that I do like is that EDP's audience reach has diminished greatly. But unfortunately, no one gets canceled on the internet forever, no matter what they've done. Do not trust EDP. His fire of popularism has diminished and has been put out for a very long time. I don't think we'll ever get to see EDP make a resurgence on the internet in terms of becoming a popular figure like what he used to be. If anything, now he'll be subjected to a laughing stock on the internet. And obviously, rightfully so, because he fucking deserves it. Moral of the story is, don't fuck kids, man. You could do so much better with that. You could, you could do so much better, man. It's fucking, I don't know, get a fucking sex doll. It's weird, 
but it's legal. If you're feeling horny, just just play Overwatch. The horniness will go away once you play fucking competitive rank, and you you start to see you start to see your fucking inner hatred for the human species. But anyways, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Sorry I've been away for a while. I just wanted to uh, get myself in a better position, I guess, mentally. And I just wanted to make sure that I was mentally okay before I started making videos again. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please like, favorite, and comment a video as well. Share this video. I'll see you guys when I see you guys hopefully soon. But until then, don't be a stranger. Tell me your opinions on EDP. Tell me if you've been a fan of his or if you used to watch him or if you have no fucking idea who this guy is. And if you have no idea who this guy is, please don't look him up. Please do not watch his videos. Please do not fucking interact with this fucking man. He does not deserve it. He's a fucking pedophile. He's a lying pedophile ass looking, looking dude who looks like he chugs his fucking buttload of fucking Wingstop barbecue sauce. But yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. Don't be strange. Bye.